Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about your Facebook page, the settings that you need to put into your Facebook page as it results to Mobile Monkey and getting your bot working, and a few other messenger settings that need to be done, and even a few that we do that aren't required, but I'd like to show those to you. So let's get started. Now let's go to the fan page. Once you um, go to your fan page, there's a couple settings you want to do here. Now you want to make sure that you have the send button set up here. If you do not, just hit edit button or create button if you haven't done it before. And then uh, you will choose the send, the contact you, then the send message button option, and then hit next. Then choose Messenger, and you don't have to mess with anything here. And you hit Finish, and that's going to have your button there for you. The next thing is go to Settings. Now, this part right here is optional. If you click Messaging and scroll down here, there is a part, Show a Messenger Greeting. So you can show just a little message here for people that have first come to visit your bot and they're gonna get a get started uh, button to get started. So I like to have a message in there. You don't have to have a message in there if you don't want to. Uh, the next part you need to change, and this is um, very important for your bot to work. Um, I change responses to partially automated with some support by people because you're going to be also um, taking over live and chatting with people throughout the bot. The bot can get to a place where it actually needs human er interaction. So you're going to be in there messaging uh, people. So we want to make sure and have that. And then if you come right down here to subscribe apps, subscribed apps, you're going to see a mobile monkey app here. You're going to want to choose this drop down and make sure that it says primary receiver. If you don't make uh, it a primary receiver, then it's not going to work. And one last thing, if you're going to use mobile monkey widget on your website, make sure you add your website's domain here and hit save. So if we go back to the page after making all those settings and you hit test button, you're going to see that your bot will show up and you can test it here and make sure everything's working. All right. Hope that helps and I'll talk to you soon.